Have a blessed day brethren, welcome to the Temple Mount Church of All Nations in Kampala Uganda, built by the people and for the people, known as Kakanda Ministries headed by Prophet Samuel Kakandi. Come, visit Kakanda Ministries, let Prophet Kakanda prophesy your life, and it will never be the same again. Have faith in God, healing and deliverance at the Kakanda Ministries are free. Clap your hands for the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am here. Thank you. In Jesus' Hallelujah. mighty name. I glorify God. Thank you, Jesus. Mr. Samuel is receiving his healing. He has difficulty in breathing for six years and chest pain. Thank you, Jesus Christ. He's now free. Sister Rosemary Winnie from Kenya. She's asthmatic for 15 years. She has hypertension for one year. The Holy Spirit is perfecting her breathing system. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Beatrice from Kenya. She cannot do any work for five years due to general body weakness and multiple joint pains. The Lord Jesus Christ is strengthening her. Go, go Clap your, your hands for the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you. Mr. Christopher Awino from Kenya with difficulty in passing out stool and weakness in manhood for eight months. This is his time. Thank you, Jesus. Walking towards his freedom. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Margaret Awino from Kenya with difficulty in rising up and standing for long for five months due to the painful left leg with swelling. All this is due to a fracture. Watch her moving. Being strengthened in Jesus' name. And next is Mr. Francis with difficulty in walking for 19 years. Come out, devil, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out, be up. Devil out. Come out, in the mighty name of Jesus. Rise up and go, you're free. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm healed, I'm healed, Jesus Christ. Mr. Hepson uh, from Kenya, he cannot stand or walk for long. For one month, he has a painful left leg. Prayer is going on for him. Step by step, he's moving towards his healing. <laughs> comes from Christ and the Christ is in you by his words without his words stop claiming your Christianity and listen no matter what the situation you are not alone so long as you are with the problem solver you are out of that situation. Philippians is 413. Listen to this. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You must look at him who is enabling you, giving you power to go through the situation. Let's say this man is chasing me. No, 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 don't follow me, no, 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 this is where you fail, because you don't know who you are, no, no, in Jesus' name, watch what has happened to him, Another one is touched. Why you wonder? <laughs> Man of God. <laughs> I have no words. Kagome Simon is my name from Zambia. Ah, Man of God. Seeing what is happening, I have failed to to put things together, I'm failing to understand the power. 
you have failed to believe. Otherwise, there is more power. Look. The power of God has touched this woman. Remember, no one is touching her, but the very power of God that the man of God is talking about is what has touched her now. See her reacting to the power of the Holy Spirit against her will. And on the floor, she goes. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I, want to believe you. I want to believe you. I want to understand you. I want to fellowship with you. Fellowship with you. Help, me, Help me, Jesus. My heart, My heart. Fellowship, with Jesus. fellowship with Jesus. Amen. What do you do in Zambia? I'm a science teacher. This man is laughing at you. <laughs> yeah. My name is uh, Mr. David Kaluizi from Zambia. What he has seen here, maybe he has never experienced. So this is the reason maybe why he's saying that uh, I can't understand. I'm sure from today onwards, the life will never be the same for him. 19, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Listen to this. He said to them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? So they say to him, we have not so much as heard whether there is a Holy Spirit. And he said to them, into what then were you baptized? So they said, into John's baptism. Then Paul said, John indeed baptized with a baptism of repentance, saying to the people that they should believe on him who would come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke with tongues, and prophesied. Now the men were about twelve in all. Is the Holy Spirit in the words or in his reality? In the reality. Is the power of God in words or in reality? It is in reality. Why do you say you don't understand? What is the meaning of the word science? It is the study of uh, nature. Read the word senses this is science how many senses do we have we have five senses mm -hmm. the sense of hearing mm -hmm. the sense of touch of feel the, the sense of smell then we also have the sense of uh, taste and the of sense what? of sight sight, sight. Simply senses. You touch, you feel. What have I touched? Your sense begin now to tell you. This is water. This is fire. This is liquid. This is stone. Yes? To the man of God. From here, you can smell that somebody is cooking chicken and rice from here without seeing him through my love God yes yes that is the science you are teaching the scientists they go by senses through my love God we are spirits in the body that is why these senses work you may not see, but you can say, mm, something died here. It's smelly. This, your spirit, is the one which you use to smell. It is not just a body. If it is a body, the day the spirit leaves the body, you, as a dead man, you never feel, even when somebody touches you. Through man of God. So it is the spirit which brings about the senses. So with God, it is the spirit of God Indeed. which brings about the presence of God. So your spirit yes, is the real presence of you in the body. 
Yes, man of God. Without that spirit, you are not in the body. Yes, man of God. So the real you is the spirit, not the body. This is the camouflage. Indeed, man of God. Have you got it? Yes. Now, God himself, without his spirit, his presence is not there. Even praying for you when I say, in the name of Jesus Christ. Watch the demonstration of the power of God as Mr. Simon from Zambia is being prayed for. No one is moving him. The very power of God is rotating him against his own will and he's fallen down. In the name of Jesus. Be delivered from poverty. Be moved from darkness to light, from poverty to prosperity in Jesus' name. It is not just your body. It is your spirit which is moved. Okay. Give him the mic. Tell us. What did happen is... There was just a force. According to what I The Holy understood. Spirit is the force of which God is behind. Yes, my Lord. And this is not just a force. It is the presence of God. Himself in our lives. Jesus is not with us physically in the body, but in the spirit he is with us. Then I say, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. See the powerful force of the Holy Spirit touching Mr. Simon from Zambia. Moving him against his will. He can no longer control his body. On the floor he goes. Reza. Yeah, what is it? I feel so tired as if I had a marathon. <laughs> Man of God, the power of God is so real. 1 8 Acts of Apostles. But you shall receive power mm. when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, mm. and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. This is why I stretch my hand. Because, and you receive power only when the Holy Spirit has come upon. So this power is the power of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Wherever the Spirit of God is, there must be the power of God. But the knowledge of the presence. Yes, this man, if I touch him, he can feel me. Because by the presence of my body, yes, mm. by the presence of my body, you can know who is taller than the other, who is bigger than the other, who is taller than the other. Yes, this is what God did. Now, by the presence of the Spirit, eh? mm. The presence of the Spirit has released the power of God and watch this gentleman being touched by the very power of God against his will, he's down on the floor. Amen. Amen. The only issue in the family was the quarreling. I 
arguments every day. I consider a man of God. The mother of Are you mad? Are you what about very true man of God? Kagome Simon is my name once more. When I was just uh, very young, three years, I've grown up in a home where my parents were quarreling. Why do you do this? Why do you do this? You man, you are mad. By the time I reached somewhere like grade two or three, they even separated. Went to stay with my mother. My mother took us in Livingstone. Then from there in 1994, she passed away. That is how we are taken now by my aunties. Uh, this auntie takes one or two. I went to stay with another auntie in Mufumbwe. And that is why love has never established into your life. Love and trust is not there. Yes, man of God. Is this serious? Is this talking the truth? All oh, the time you have to ask how many questions. Very true, man of God. Indeed, uh, at times with certain things that happen, it is very difficult for me to be convinced and just to accept or just to say, okay, that is very true. I get to think a lot, try to analyze, so that I just get if that which has happened is really true, I just tend to think a lot. I don't just accept it directly, just like that. Because part of your family were hunters. I just hate that uh, our forefathers were hunters. And this hunting, that is where they were so much in uh, this uh, herbal or whatever witchcraft thing. I confirm that one, that other year. That is when I was taught, just like that, to say once they go to the bush, they hunt. They had a stick, they put like a this. Something like there was a, a tree or something like that. So once they kill whatever animal, whatever chicken, they want to eat the blood. They will go and surround it to the, to the very plant. Then they start, uh, is it uh, enchanting or whatever, the tail. Very true so, man of God. So this is what is going on in your life. To get food is not easy. Show a man of God. Because you are a hunter. Show a man of God. Very difficult. Initially, from the time I started the, uh, my work, 2009, I've been more like a, a breadwinner. There is this time where I had uh, almost about uh, 14 people. My grandmother, my aunt, and others. I was renting them a house. Then to my place, I had my boys. So whatever I could buy this side, the same way. So now I had challenges to just feed the 14 people. But from today, it is all over. Thank you, man of God. Hallelujah. Clap your hands for Jesus. Praise the Lord. So the Lord will use you to build a primary school. Hallelujah. I will see you. I saw St. Peter's and it was a primary school. Is there St. Peter's in Zambia? Zambians, help me, maybe I may not be aware of a primary school, St. Peter's. It's a Catholic school, it's there, St. Peter's. As you are viewing the mountain over there, here lies St. Peter's. Uh, St. Peter's, it's there in Kalumbila mine. Okay. Okay. So you able... go to Zambia and ask for St. Peter's primary school and look at how it looks like. That is the school you are going to build. All the classes... Amen, man of God. I received man of God. I have always been thinking of building a school. Thank you, sir. Come, visit Kakonda Ministries. Let Prophet Kakonda prophesy your life, and it will never be the same again. Have faith in God. Healing and deliverance at the Kakonda Ministries are free.